Hey, everybody. Welcome back to FDUnites.com, and welcome inside the first edition of the Pete Zanella Show. Joel Gadet, glad to have you along with us. This is the women's basketball head coach, Pete Zanella. Uh, first off, welcome. Uh, Thanks for having me on, Joel. You're, right. you're a week into the season now, so just your kind of opening impressions, your initial impressions of uh, the group that you've got. Well, I think we got a, we got a good young team. We have some uh, very young players at certain positions, and then we have some excellent seniors. Uh, we, we played pretty well at Boston College, ended up losing by 11 points, and we had a rougher game against Yale, particularly the last 10 minutes. So we're looking forward to our, our two road games this week at NJIT and at Army. I want to take you backward and, and start with that Boston College game. And just in terms of a feel, in terms of building a mentality, um, in terms of building even momentum in a loss, you go on the road to an ACC opponent uh, and you hold your own. I mean, that was a five-point game with eight, nine minutes left to go. You were really in that ball game the entire time. Yeah, we're down five at halftime. It, it, it was a close game most of the way. Uh, an ACC team like Boston College, they were a little bigger and stronger than us. So we learned we have to do a better job in the boards and taking better care of the ball. But also gave us some confidence that if we run our things and, and get the ball to the right people, we can score against any team. I thought, too, you started a freshman point guard, uh, and actually both of your point guards are freshmen in uh, Amanda Andrades and Stephanie Isaacs. But uh, considering the opponent, considering the pressure and the environment, uh, traveling on the road for her first game, I thought Amanda uh, was a really good floor general for yeah, you. Yeah, she, she uh, did a good job getting the ball up the court, and uh, she kept the turnovers low. So she looks like she's going to be a good point guard for us. What's different? difficult about uh, that kind of responsibility uh, your first game into a college career well it's always tough for uh, you know freshman quarterback freshman point guard to to get the nod uh, right away so they got a lot of learning to do on the job but uh, you know she's done a good job she takes care of the ball she learns she's got to uh, be more aggressive with her shot and also you know her defense she's got to take advantage of her quickness and pressure up more how much uh, kind of work goes into relating to your teammates as well? How have they taken to her as a floor general and all that communication? Well, that's the other thing is she's never played with a lot of these players except a few days in practice here. So she's got to learn how they, where they catch the ball and where they can score and where they might have trouble catching the ball. So it's just about learning your teammates. And sometimes different scenarios, BC did a lot of zone pressing on us. They played as very little man. And then the next game, Yale played as all man. So we can see little different things each game. Scoring-wise, uh, you got what you expected from uh, Mariah Laurie uh, in both games, really. Um, but I know you, you want to see probably a little bit of help uh, around that as well. What has to happen just in terms of, uh, and I guess this kind of the spreads over both of the games so far, building more balanced offense and, and really getting a lot of people involved? Well, number one, we got to cut our turnovers down. That would be more shot attempts for some other players. And we're really looking for uh, Panky to, to be a double-digit scorer for us this year, and I think she's going to do that. And then our next our next option is we got to get the ball inside a lot. we got four or five different low post. Uh, scores. They can get anywhere from 4 to 6, or some of them might be able to get 10 to 12. And those inside players, those five inside players, got to get us 20, 25 points a night. You mentioned going inside the post, and you guys did that really well in the Yale game. I thought Erica Livermore, uh, another one of those freshmen that you're starting, uh, really kind of had her coming out party just two games in. Yeah, she did a good job. She's 5 for 8 from the field. We probably could have got her the ball more, um, but we just got to find ways to get her the ball in the right spots where she could score. But she had 12 points against a pretty good defensive Yale team. Tell me, you mentioned the turnovers, and that was kind of an overriding theme that uh, kind of arched those two games together. Uh, we've talked about it before, but what comes down to, or what is it that, that you can kind of do as a coach and as a coaching staff to, to kind of teach the value of the basketball and, and get them really to understand, you know, one turnover, sometimes you go, okay, it's just one turnover, but if you say that too much, things kind of pile up. Yeah, we got to keep working on it every day in practice, and uh, we got to find ways to, to improve our, our passing sk uh, catch skills and also w how to feed the post and how to set legal screens. There's a lot of different things we got to work on to cut those turnovers down, but we got to do it every day in practice, and in the games, we got to find people who are going to be confident with the ball and play them a little bit more. We just Joked, uh, is there something mental too? I mean, do, do you do like the high school home ec where you buy each kid an egg and you <laughs> say take care of it like it's your child and, and do it with a basketball instead? We definitely got to learn the value of the ball and sometimes making the simple pass can be the best pass. A busy week coming up for the women's team. We'll preview that in just a moment. But before we do that, we also had a chance to take a camera on the road for the first road trip of the season against Boston College. And we've got a chance for you guys to take a look behind the scenes as well.
the whole team forced to sit on the bus together for a few hours, so it's kind of good for us to like, get to know each other, bond, have fun, laugh, do jokes. A lot of us do homework, um, we'll sit together, watch movies, laugh, it's just, you know, pretty chill, nothing too interesting. Most of us listen to our iPods and some music, um, some of us do our homework, um, watch the movies, so far we watch The Fighter and The Bad Teacher, and now we're watching the videos of the Happy Family, so, I mean, so us sleep as well too, but... It's not really that comfortable to be sleeping. Coach's choice of movies is usually funny. Uh, his favorite's Gladiator. We watch that pretty often, but I don't know, usually it's the movies that make the ride. Got a busy day planned now. We're going to uh, eat dinner, and then we head over to Boston College for our practice. So everyone's very excited, and uh, just trying to get ready uh, for our 11 a.m. game time for tomorrow. Well, it's always important when you go on the road. You know, the, you, you're, you're in the hotel, you're on the bus, you're eating the dinner. It's a great time for team chemistry, and you really get to work a lot and, and learn about the other teams. We watch video on the bus, and we're going to watch, you know, go over the scout reports. Um, it's exciting to be on the road with the team. It's a good bonding experience, I think, for everyone, for us to get to know each other more. And um, I know I'm excited for the game tomorrow and to start my college career. Yeah, it's definitely not what um, us freshmen are going to be used to. Um, usually we just take a school bus to a game, so it's nice to all the commodities and the movies and hang out with the team on a nice bus. It was a nice bonus. All guards down here with the ball, all posts down here with the ball. Let's go, coaches, five minutes. Five minutes right here. Here we go. Let's go. Get the rebound, throw it out to Jen. There you go. Call post repeat. You either do sets of five or sets of ten. I know yesterday you went back to your old habit on the layups. Finger roll under. Finger roll under. Off that screen hard. Let's go. Elevate, elevate. Backspin, no. Got to get that backspin. Got to get that backspin. Get in that paint. Get in that paint. Is that long go? Coach Millette, outlet on that side. Hound the rebounder hard. Ready. Go. Come on, Tori. Come on, Tori. Come on, Tori. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Go get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go get it. Go get it. More spare. Come on. More life. More life. Be tough. Let's go, take it strong. Good, come on, let's go, let's work. Keep working, keep working. Balance, Noons, balance. That's it, that's better, here we go. Going strong, good. Put him in, let's go, let's go, Mariah, here we go, let's go. Good, finish it, uh, three point line, Mariah, three point line. You know the routine. Flash, swing it low. Lay up, flash, swing it low, lay up, go. Wait till she lays it in, go. Flash hard to the ball, flash hard to the ball. Rip it, rip it. It's hard to the ball, rip it. Coach, meet him at the elbow and ride with him. We gotta start making some of these. It's a meet him right here, just hold him, hold him, but he'll try and block it. That's it, good, good, that's it. The move, living more good. Yesterday we were very fumbly, missing layups. Got to do a much better job. Put the balls on the rack. We're in four corner passing. Isaacs, Noons, and Amanda have the basketballs. Ready? Four corner passing. Ready? <laughs> Coach, Bentley, get open drill. Bentley, get open. Let's go. Three lines, come on. We need players with aggressive personalities stepping up and making two or three shots if you play. Minutes, you make two or three shots. If everyone did that, we don't even need anybody to get 20 or 18. If everybody makes three shots, one to the two, go. 
Okay, bounce pass. She's 5'5". Five, five. Everybody in the court's going to be 6'3". Run it again. I've told you guys that a lot. I think we have to be the aggressor on the attack from the get-go. And we need to grab the first basket. We need to grab the first rebound, and we need to take the lead and try and really uh, uh, get a good lead. So we got to come out these first three minutes like it's our, the, the whole year. That's how we got to come out on the attack. That's how you got to win games on the road. And then you got to keep that going. Then you have to keep that going. We out rebound them, our ball game. Let's go. Hands in. On three, rebound. One, two, three, rebound. rebound. Today was a good practice to prepare us for BC. If we out rebound them, then we should be good. And I'm excited to play tomorrow, and so is the team. Rebounding and running the fast break, those are two keys for us tomorrow. <laughs> and if we can do that, we'll be, we'll be in good shape. For the game, like during pregame meal, we don't we don't be too serious. Like we know it's game day, but we still like joke around and stuff to like loosen up. We get more serious more when we get to the gym. It's not as much playing around. It's more serious, like being focused on the game. All right, Coach, you get to look a little bit at uh, going on the road at Boston College. Talk to me a little bit about starting the season on the road, too, being that you brought in a lot of newcomers. You get a lot of bus time, a lot of travel time, uh, a lot of building and bonding time. That's a good good time to really develop team chemistry. You're going to be on the road more in, in the bus, eating t uh, team dinners in the hotel. We do have a lot of road games. We only have one home game in the first first group. So it's a really good chance to see what type of team we have. And then right when we get back from our, our UConn trip, we also go to PA. So we do have a lot of trips right here and a lot of road games. So going to Boston College and getting on the road here to NJIT and Army, these are going to be good things to see what we got and, and really develop some toughness. And you got to go home, too. Yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell me uh, these two opponents that come up for you. You go back on the road, as you said, uh, with NJIT and Army. Uh, two different teams. I know Army has been tested early. They played Seton Hall, a Big East opponent already. NJIT is a, a team that lost their leading scorer all time from last year, and, and they play a lot of freshmen this year. Right. Uh, they're, they're both very well-coached uh, teams. NJIT um, ha does start four freshmen, but they got the first one of the year against Brown uh, in their home opener. they got some good young players. They're always known as a team that plays very tough, plays good defense, and they're very well-coached. So we got our hands Ball. Key would be uh, take take care of the ball take and, and limit the, the turnover. Shot up every time, and we got to find a way to stop their. We got to keep them off the foul line. Uh, they do draw a lot of fouls. We got to find a way to take some charges and not foul the drivers. All right, Pete. Good luck this week. Thank you. That's the head coach Pete Sinella, and it's the first edition of the Pete Sinella Show here on FDUnites.com. Stick back and check back with us all season long as we continue to check in with the head coach.